Miguel, yeah, Tim Bradley retired as well. I'm just kind of want to get your thoughts on that too because that was another guy that uh, could have been a big fight for you also. Oh, I respect uh, Tim Bradley a lot. You know? He was a professional the whole way and I just support uh, his decision in, in the favor of his family, in favor of whatever decision that made him retire. I'm a really big supporter of Tim Bradley. It's like an end of an era. I don't know if you noticed. In like two days' time, you got Klitschko retired, Bradley retired, Marcus retired. You're saying you're retiring at the end of the year. That's four really, really big names. Have you thought about that, that it's kind of like an end of an era right now? I give my best in every opportunity I had, you know. Uh, I'm getting old uh, every day. And now in my life, I have better things to think about than boxing, you know. I have my family, I have four kids, and I want to be healthy, to enjoy the, the life, to enjoy when they get married. And they have family. I want to be there for them. You don't feel old, though, do you? Like, do you feel that you're physically old, or you still feel like you're like 20? I'm good. I'm 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 36. I feel like 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 36 years old. But my decision is based just in my family, just in the benefit of my kids. Is there? I know people ask fighters this all the time. They ask them if you could do it again. Would you become a fighter again, given how their careers have panned out? With you, if you had to do it again, would you still become a boxer, or would you go a, a simpler road, given the sacrifices you've had to make and the time away that you had from your family? Everything I have in my life, everything I can bring to my kids in, the future, in their future, is because of boxing. I own, I own my life, my kids' life, my family life to box. And if, if I can have the opportunity to to born again, I think that I became a boxer. With that day coming, what kind of a feeling is it for you? Like, what kind of emotions do you feel knowing that the 31st is no more boxing? Is it a scary thing? Is it an exciting thing? Like, what are you feeling? This match is going to be just the end of my boxing career. All I have to do is to look for other things to do. Uh, the biggest reason for, for, for saying bye to boxing is my family. And I know that I, that I can that I can find whatever I need to to be a better person in them. Miguel, let me ask you this: You being observant, why do you feel it's so hard for boxers sometimes to retire? Last minute. Sometimes it's so hard for us to be out out of the focus, out of uh, the spotlight, the spotlight, you know. But. I never, I never get interested in that, you know? I prefer to be more, more low budget with my career. I prefer to be... Low key. Low key, yeah. yeah. Uh, some guys, they love to be in the spotlight, you know? But that, I think that's the main reason to them for making the retirement. So you're not going to miss all this, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> you're going to be glad. You're going to be like, thank goodness, no more cameras. I can say hi to you, whatever I say. I'll see you, but I'm not going to miss you guys. <laughs> You've had many great moments, wins, performances. What's your best one that just replays in your mind? You say, that was that was one of my favorite nights, my favorite moments. I had the opportunity to enjoy my whole career. Uh, my first fight, fight just made me go to the second one, the second one to the third one, and eventually all of them make myself the person I am right now, you know? I'm a really, I feel really good because of boxing. You fought the two biggest names of our lifetime, Manny Pacquiao and Flamengo Jr. 
just talk to us about that experience. How would you separate that whole build up and, and being in the ring with them? They were both arguably the greatest two fighters. That was two of my fights. Uh, two of the, of the, of the biggest yeah. name that I ever faced. I have nothing else to say about it. You know?